Ladies and gentlemen, hello, 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 welcome. Welcome to what is very quickly going to become the greatest night of your fucking lives. Now, yes. I know what I'm talking about. Uh, we did the show. Was anybody, um, was anybody at the show last night by any chance? Yeah. So you know what? It's, it's insane. It is, it's absolutely insane, the level of talent and the, uh, of, of, and the history of what you're going to see tonight. And um, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to host, which means I'll come out and, uh, and kind of vamp in between while people are, you know, redoing the back line and all that stuff and s switching out their, uh, uh, their pedals and their whatnots. I'm, I'm, not a, I'm not a professional uh, in any capacity. Um, but... Uh, so all that is to say, uh, 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 I'll be back up here. There's no reason for me to ramble on. You're going to hear me plenty of times uh, uh, throughout the night. So let's get this thing started. Are you all ready? Yeah, it's, trust me, trust me. It's going to be amazing. All these folks who, who were in Athens last night know. So let's, uh, without further ado, you guys come on. Let's get ready. Look at this, already. What? Who? John? How? Rich? What? John? What? You guys? Look at this. We're just getting started. You got hours and hours and hours of this. Seven hour show, ladies and Seven gentlemen. Seven hours. Are you guys ready? All right. So, without further ado, super group number one. Hi, everybody. Hi, I'm John Cameron Mitchell. Just drove in from Athens, uh, had a good time. Last time I performed here was in 19 something, and I stage dived and the Red Sea parted. But I was ready for it. I tucked and rolled. It was at a party called Glitter Dome, I think. Did anyone go there? Glitter Dome, remember that? Okay. All right, I hate starting the show because I. I'm shy, but I love these guys. And this is, you know, REM was a dance band when they started, so feel free. Hit it!
coming up now. Oh, it's Fred Armisen. Hello, hi. I'd like to bring my son up here, Quinn Robinson. Hello. Thank you. 
Mitch Easter up here from Let's Active.
Men's fucking Easter. Yes. Don't sit down. Don't, don't sit. Remember this one?
a part. John Cameron Mitchell and the Chronic Town EP Players Woo! Band. <laughs> All right, that's the show. That was the entire EP. Thank you so much for coming out. Holy shit, that was amazing. All right, yes, no, we've got a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot more. Um, and I'll tell you what, I, I'm looking out at this audience, kind of similar to last night, and... You know, how many of y'all saw R.E.M. in their early years? Yeah. Was it difficult being from Atlanta? I grew up in Atlanta. Uh, I grew up in Roswell. Um, and guess what I learned? Guess what I learned last night? Uh, Peter Buck and I went to the same high school. Yeah. He was the dick. He, he used to pants me, put me, he was a jock. He was like fucking quarterback, douchebag. Christian, like super Christian patriot guy. And um, I, Crestwood High School. It's not there anymore. I was at, we were at Crestwood. What? Yeah, okay, yeah. Well, there you go. Um, and Peter Buck is the second most famous guy to go to Crestwood. That's pretty cool. Pretty good. I just found that out. Um, but as I, as I said, I was looking around here and you know, when you're younger and you go to 688 and Metroplex and the Bistro and all that, and then you're seeing, you're like, because I had a fake ID, as I'm sure most of you did, because it was so fucking easy to get a fake ID back then. Uh, I mean, it, I feel so bad for the kids today with the holograms and all that. Okay. Um, I do, because we, we, back then you just took a picture of the ID and then, you know, went and manipulated it with a fucking Sharpie, and it worked. <laughs> And now, uh, anyway, so that, you know, we, you'd be there, you'd be at the shows, and, and then you'd see some guy who's like, or woman who's like 25, and you're like, what's that old fucker doing here? Well, guess what? We're the old fuckers tonight. And this is our time to shine. Speaking of old fuckers, please. Ladies and gentlemen, all the way from Athens, please welcome Elf Power. Wagon is the empty wagon is the noise. 
All right, thanks. So it's hard to pick a favorite REM album, but if I had to pick one, I would probably pick Live's Rich Pageant. And so yeah, this is the first song off of that. This is called Begin the Begin. wanted to say one of the ways that R.E.M. was really important to my musical development was not only all the great songs that they did, but all the great songs that they covered um, that when I was really young, I didn't know the original version, so they would do these songs and then I would seek out the originals and discover all these great bands. So that's how I discovered bands like Wire, Mission of Burma, Television, Pylon, um, Velvet Underground. So. We're gonna play one of those songs, and I just wanted to thank R.E.M. for introducing me to all these great bands. Um, so this is our cover of their cover of There She Goes Again by The Velvet Underground.
Hey, thank you so much. Elf power! Activate! Do y'all ever do that? Do you ever go elf power activate? That's something to consider next time y'all are doing... You guys, uh, I was just thinking, when next time you go elf power activate, you could, like next time you're playing, you could go elf power activate, and you could put your hands together in form of a, a turtle. Uh, all, right. all right, now let me tell you something. Uh, much like uh, everyone here, uh, I was awkward and nerdy and shy and um, yeah, yeah, yes, yes, absolutely. Absolutely, I've surveyed the crowd and uh, didn't lose my virginity till I was 50. Um, and uh, no, but I would go, uh, so I, I, I would go see uh, various bands, uh, as I said, at the 688 or Bistro, and, um, and this next band coming up was a band that I, it's probably the first crush I had on a band. Not an individual person, but the band. I had a crush on the band, and I would go, and I was such a, a <laughs> nerdy, big fan, and they, I remember going to a show specifically, it was the Now Explosion and this next band, and I and I, I don't want to give it away, but I would bring a whistle for the whistle part of the song, and um, and I made a sheet pan of Jello, like literally, and wrapped it in Saran wrap, thinking, isn't that a cool, quirky thing? I'll give it to the band. They'll love me. They'll see how wonderful and and what a quirky, odd, creative genius I am. And uh, I don't remember their reaction. It probably wasn't much of anything outside of like, yeah, thanks. But I remember it didn't go over quite as planned. I didn't get invited to, you know, join the group or anything. Um, the jello didn't work out. But they are here right now, sort of. Uh, please welcome the Pylon Reenactment Society. Hey, y'all. Hey, Don't even try. Stay ahead, keep shaking, but 
rocks are shaking in your feet are shaking cause the earth is shaking in your head keep shaking cause your rocks are shaking in your feet are shaking cause the earth is shaking You're funny and you don't even try. Thank you. I'd like to thank you all for coming out tonight. You're supporting a very important parent Planned Parenthood is just so important I, and I think if you're here tonight you know why you know why and we're we're donating a portion of proceeds from our merch sales to Planned Parenthood
We have a special treat for you. Mr. Hugo Burnham from the Gang of Four is going to be playing drums. Back in the day, he told me one time, there were four bands that mattered. Mattered. R.E.M. The Gang of Four. Pylon. And a song by this next band that R.E.M. covered on a Christmas single, Mission of Burma. Great up next. Pylon Reenactment Society. Remember when Margaret Thatcher said, There's no such thing as society? Well, she was fucking wrong. Because that, my friends, was a society. That's right. All right, moving it along. We're about to get into super group number two. The amount of talent that is represented tonight. That's mine. That's, uh, if you could please leave. That's mine. That's mine. That, well, we'll talk about it in a second because I had dibs on that. I already put something on eBay. All right, well. And also you're reminded distinctly of how many amazing songs R.E.M. wrote. I mean, just the catalog 
is insane. It's, a, it's... Now, uh, also I want to say that, um, as Vanessa was talking about, we, uh, if you don't know this, uh, we, tonight between last night, the Athens show, and tonight, we have raised over $100,000 for Planned Parenthood. Yeah. That is, and that, I'm, I'm not sure how many I will, I will find out, but that is a lot of abortions. That's a lot. How many abortions is that, roughly? I'll find out. I'm going to find out. It's, uh, it's a lot of abortions. Um, and also, you know, I assume everybody here, most people are pro-choice, yeah? Good. Myself, I am not, I'm beyond pro-choice. I'm, I'm very pro-choice, but I'm beyond, I'm pro-abortion. I want more abortions, more. Less people, more abort, come on, is that where I lose you? You're on, you're on the fence? We don't, we want people to have choice, but we don't want them to have an abortion. Want more abortions, we want more little angels in the world. Yeah. Somebody's gotta mine the lithium, right? Somebody's gotta mine the lithium for all the cars that are saving the world. Um, are, you good? are we good? Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome supergroup number two. And also, I just want to point out very quickly, Mitch Easter, if you don't know, produced Chronic Town. This is the producer. Thank you. Thank him. Thank you, Mitch.
Why do I always follow Mitch, East, follow Mitch Easter? Now, okay, I started going to Athens, Georgia in the late, in the early 2000s, and I met some beautiful people, and one of them was Jeremy Ayers. Jeremy Ayers was kind of a godfather, godmother to a lot of people in town, including the folks from REM, folks from B-52s and Pylon and, and had gone to New York and been part of uh, the Warhol scene and got over it <laughs> and came back and, and uh, influenced a lot of people and took care of a lot of people. So this song, my favorite song uh, from Out of Time is I'm going to sing for Jeremy. And that's Lenny fucking K over there, okay? That's all I'm saying. Said the morning, oh, it 
isn't your time You were barefoot, naked <laughs> I can see your lines It doesn't bother me If you are right Your grass is grassy Wet your light White is bright Light white light I skip the part About Love It seems so silly and love Love, love, love Love, love, love <laughs> You and me We know about time Ladies and gentlemen, the great Kevin Kinney.
Mike Mills, ladies and gentlemen. Perfect reunion 
Find it which binds a common ground. Sometime have little in common at all. Nothing will change until you change it. Nothing will be free until you free it in your own self, in your own mind, in your own time. Do you believe? I believe. If you want to make a difference, you've got to be different. That's the deal. Everybody hit the ground. Everybody hit the ground. Everybody hit the ground. Chris Robinson and Kevin Kinney. Yeah. You know, it's funny uh, because Kevin was uh, here doing his uh, regular job. He's uh, delivering the Topo Chico and, and we said, don't change, don't change. Don't change into another outfit. Just put that down. Come on, sing a little something. I will say this. I don't know if, if, if you all were at the, uh, the Athens show last night, but we're all, we're all wearing the same clothes as yesterday. <laughs> oh, to a person. We're wearing the same shitty, um, and I, you know, I'm watching this, this show, and uh, I mean, I keep, I keep shitting my pants at the amazingness of it, and I have not changed, I won't, I'm not going to change my pants, I'm not going to do it, I'm not going to do it, but, uh, all right, so that was super group number two, we're about to have super group number three coming in, uh, a melange of sorts of the folks you've seen tonight. But th this is just a taste of what's going to continue to happen. There are going to be more and more people walking out where you're like, holy shit, what the fuck? Bill Clinton? <laughs> sorry, sorry. I fucked that one up. I fucked that one up. Um, he's playing, but he's not playing the sax. He's going to play the alto sax, um, which nobody likes. Nobody likes an alto sax at all. And why would they? It's terrible. Yes. See the shirt? Yeah. Do y'all see this shirt? Yeah. So I got this. I was very, very upset when the Braves, it was the most racist shit ever, blatantly. And uh, what they did was, you know, illegal, immoral, unethical, and at night uh, doing that fucking bullshit. And, uh, and so I, yeah, I was on, I don't know, I think either the guys who made these t-shirts, they're Atlanta guys, and uh, um, I think I bought one and then they sent me a bunch, but uh, yeah, so this is, uh, it says fuck Cobb County, if you can't see it. Yeah, a big old fuck Cobb County, not the people of Cobb County, they're fine, ish, but it's, the, it's the, the city council that did that in the middle of the night, illegally, fuck them. And I know they were voted out. I was talking about this in the car on the way up. I was like, they got voted out, but what? They, I mean, they must have made a deal in the back going like, hey, listen, if I get voted out, you're still going to get me a place in St. Bart's, right? Yeah. Yeah, fuck them. Fuck. I love the Braves, but fuck, fuck Cobb County. Yeah. I'm serious. <laughs> yeah. Listen up, Cobb County. Listen to that. Um, <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Um, all right. Well, we're gonna uh, we're gonna keep this going. Oh fuck! All right. I'll do a. I'll, I'm gonna do a quick impression for you while we're waiting for the. Go away. Don't go away. All right, then, then it's, it's mostly people want, all right, so what you should do is this. 
You do this for one minute. I'm keeping it going. Here we go. Here's, here's an impression. This is my impression of a guy who's going through a midlife. I could just leave, then you're just sitting there. No, I'm, ta I'm talking to them. I know, this is for you guys. Yeah, I know. So this is an impression of a guy who's had a midlife crisis and then sold everything and moved to the woods to make 18-year-old artisanally handcrafted single batch whiskey. And his first batch didn't do very well, so now he's taste testing his second batch. Okay, here it is. Oh, God damn it, son of a bitch. Oh, back to the drawing board. Because he's now, he had a midlife crisis and yet it's 36 years later. That's how that joke works. Pretty good, yeah? Mike liked it, that's all I care about. I don't give a fuck about you or that lady in the back. I do not give a shit. Please welcome super group number three, Baseball Project. Hey, Wayne.
right. Thank you very much. I'm the drummer, Linda Pittman. Woo! On the vocals, Mr. Steve Wynn. I think you know the rest of the band. We actually played it three years ago. We just sang about baseball that time, but um, now we're the REM Reenactment Society. And um, Rich Robinson was um, kind enough to invite me along to play some songs on this really cool show. It's a great show, right? I know. And uh, that was I was very flattered, and I thought, oh. I play in a band that might know some of the songs, so <laughs> felt pretty fortunate that way. It's one of my favorites. Where these? Jay Gonzalez is here. Yay, Jay. How's it going, Jay? 
All right. Just in case. Just in case I'm going to sing the lyrics wrong. Which will happen anyway. goes out to Michael.
Mike Mills, Jay Gonzalez, Yahoo! Scott McCoy, ladies and gentlemen. Baseball Project Unite! Do y'all know Scott McCoy? Do you know his, uh, his ba you know, the Midas Five and Young Fresh Fellows? Yeah? Young Fresh Fellows did a song, have a song, about Amy Grant. It's an entire song about Amy Grant. A whole rock and roll song about Amy Grant, about how she's a regular old person. And it's fucking genius. I urge you to check it out. Now, let, let me ask you guys, by, by, uh, by applause, how many people here don't know how to clap? No? All right. But do you guys, do you, did you go, like, did you go to 688? Did you go to the Bistro? Did you go to Metroplex? And, and see these bands and get moved and have your life altered? Go, it was going down this course and then it sort of went down another course because you learned something about yourself, about the world. And then you, and then you went to the Majestic at the, at, yeah? Back when it was good, back when it was good. It's not, it's not the same thing. We have story. And then you went to back streets. Anybody come on? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, he went to back streets. And he saw, what was her name? Charlie Brown? Charlie, yeah. And you went to, you went to Claremont Lounge before it was internationally known. Long time ago, when Blondie was only 50. You went there when she was 50. That's what this night is about. That's what this night is about. Now we're, getting, we're moving into more supergroups, lots of supergroups. You know, with talent that is uh, from all, all over the spectrum, really. And, uh, yep. Was that a thumbs up? Was that a subtle thumbs up? <laughs> okay. All right, ladies and gentlemen, supergroup number four, supergroup number four. What's going on, guys? There's a uh, there's a TV monitor in the back, and I was watching the watching the crowd in the back. There wasn't enough bouncing. You guys need to bounce. You guys ready to bounce? All right. I know we're older, but I think your knees still work enough for us to bounce. Oh, that's it. Yourself if radio's gonna stay Reason it could buy less of the news Put that, put that, put that up your wall That this isn't country at all Yeah. 
something completely different.
Bless y'all. Did David Ryan Harris just take us to church or what? Let me just get a little quick, uh, quick thing here. Say hi, everybody. Looking good, looking good. Yeah, I see you up there up top. that we knew back in the day, a great songwriter. Uh, and he used to wear really long scarves. So in his honor, for Gary Zeekly, here's a song. It's a nugget if you dug it. Yeah! Ladies and gentlemen, 
Now, I want to, uh, because I uh, didn't get a proper introduction, I don't know, uh, David, are you here? DRH? Yes, please come here. This is David Ryan Harris. Yeah. Yeah. David and David. <laughs> yes, David and David. We had one hit back in the mid 80s, right? I think it was mid 80s. I think it was like, it was great, yeah. What was the name of the song? Welcome to the Boomtown. Welcome to the Boomtown. That's what we did. <laughs> yes. Yes, David Ryan Harris. <laughs> yes. That's what we call a showstopper. You fucking stop the show with that. It's a showstopper. Yeah. Um, so we're, we're about halfway through, a little under halfway through. Um, now, I will, let, me, let me say this. Uh, I know you guys were expecting, and, uh, and just because of traffic, traffic's fucked up, and he will be here. Uh, he's making his way here. Uh, um, but he's not here yet, but uh, Drake is on his way. He will be here. And, uh, <laughs> all right, he's gonna be doing sitting still. Or sitting still, I guess is the proper, not the southern way to pronounce it. Um, now listen, listen, listen. Uh, so we've been online, as you know, uh, or may not know, that we're streaming this live. And there have been a lot of comments and we're going to, uh, we want to be receptive to everybody. And there's been a lot of people who have like, enough with the REM. That's too much. I, this isn't me. This isn't them. This is people online saying, look, Lobsterhead2778 said enough with the REM. It's a bit much on the REM. So what we're going to do is we're going to... Uh, we're gonna we're gonna have the uh, compulsory holiday song to get you in the spirit. You guys like consumerism, right? Please welcome Puddles Pity Party. What child is this who lay to rest on Mary's lap is sleeping, whom angels greet with anthem sweet while shepherds watch our keeping? This, this is Christ the King, whom shepherds God. An angel sing, haste, haste to bring him on, the babe, the son of Mary. Why lies he in such mean estate, where rocks and nasty Here for sinners here, the silent word is bleeding. This, this is Christ the King, who shepherds God and angels sing. Haste, haste to bring him, Lord, the babe, the son of man. Since gold and myrrh compares 
tell you something that motherfucker can party too man y'all don't y'all don't know it but puddles we go back wait because we um we was we was at uh uh we went to tavern in lantern in lantern in lake lanier man this dude fucking yeah y'all know y'all know this motherfucker can party and he's born that way and that's the thing that people don't know uh, but it's good to know because I don't want y'all thinking, oh man, he's putting on makeup and putting on airs, you know. He's just sitting there putting on airs with his makeup and his, what you would call it, Sharpie on his fingernails. No, nah, man, he's born that way. And he's born with that crown, too. That's true. That is God's honest truth, man. And, uh, and I, I thank him for, you know, covering that very popular R.E.M. song about Jesus Christ, uh, born in the manger. Still, y'all ready to go? Yeah, hell yeah. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, okay. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Who's coming out? Is it Darius Rucker? Is it Darius motherfucking Rucker? Oh, shit. Hey, y'all.
I get to play the Peter Buck. Okay.
just take a quick second of your time and uh, just want to say how special tonight is to be with all these amazing people, people that have inspired us for many, many years. And it's all uh, due to my brother, Rich Robinson. Put your hands together, please.
Thank you guys for everything. Thanks for coming out. You know, this was meant to be a celebration of Chronic Town and REM, and it's a great cause. And uh, just to express how much, you know, REM meant to all of us as kids when we grew up in the South and what it, you know, seeing the beautiful South through REM's eyes and how that spread out all over the world. So it's amazing to be able to be here and have everyone come. I don't want to say how many decades later, but plenty of decades later to come enjoy this. So thanks to REM, thanks to everyone. Thanks to you guys for making this great. All right, and the bad penny is back. Uh, so I've, I've, been, uh, I've been touring recently with uh, Jody Stevens and Big Star, which is an awesome experience. And so we're gonna do a song from them. And I wanna say, uh, I wanna thank Rich Robinson and Chris for putting this thing together. I, I'm, we're all deeply touched. Uh, I wanna thank all the incredible musicians that made the trip to come here and play, and learn this stuff and play it. I wanna thank you all for being here. And I wanna give a special thanks to Belina Vigo for all the work she did to put this thing together. She worked her ass off and it's been great because of her, so for Belina. Belina did all the work, really. I, it was my idea, but you know, Belina and everyone in the crew that came down, everyone that's up here helping us. You got Jim out there. We got Liz, we got Chris, we got Bobby, we got Barry, we got so many people. So thank you guys. And you, and you.
of these people know came from all over the globe to come here and do this, to celebrate REM and what they meant to all of us. Guys, yes. And we raised over $100,000 for Truist Bank. Thank you. Thank all of you. Thank you, Athens. Thank you, Atlanta. Thank you, Rich Robinson, who put this together. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Amazing, amazing. <laughs>